Shenzhen becomes the most important city of this everything. What's up guys? This is Charlie Ling. Welcome to another video. In this video, I just want to bring you some more updates on some of these topics that I touched upon in the previous videos. Okay, point number one. It's about this massive lockdown in the city named Shenzhen. So I'm based in Shenzhen, very close to Hong Kong. Because there is a high number of COVID cases in Hong Kong, uh, maybe it's because we are very close to them. And also in the past few months, we saw a lot of inbound visitors from Hong Kong. Of course, they have to undergo two weeks of quarantine, like anyone coming into China. And, but still here in Shenzhen, we have more cases than uh, most other cities in China. So in the past few weeks, we have been asked to take mass COVID tests and it's exactly from Monday. On Monday morning, I woke up myself and I was told that we need to lock down. Prior to Monday, we had to test ourselves every 48 hours. And after Monday, we need to test ourselves every 24 hours. Okay, maybe pretty much about this ranting. So how does this lockdown have to do with you when you're watching this video? If you want to buy some miners from China, it can get affected because the majority of the miner vendors are in Shenzhen. I mean, some of them are in Chengdu and some of them in other cities, but still a lot of the logistics part have to go through Shenzhen and Hong Kong. Shenzhen becomes the most important city of this everything so it will definitely affect your minor purchases if you placed any orders before monday and if your delivery didn't happen before the lockdown it probably cannot leave shenzhen uh, but don't worry officially this kind of lockdown only lasts for one week so it's not too bad so it's like next monday we will all resume back okay point number two is to watch at this watch i saw that some of you guys actually are very curious about this watch okay because this is a really beautiful amazing watch look at these little diamonds glittering with each other and you can look at the mechanism inside look at the gears look at the its back look at the bitcoin logo it's amazing i like this watch a lot too because i actually got this from my friend as a gift i was visiting with the supplier of watches because i was getting a watch made for a uh, american customer upon hearing that i do a little bit of crypto mining hardware he started to show me this watch with this bitcoin theme so i look at the watch oh my god it looks like a robot it looks so sophisticated and exquisite and he told me i'm totally welcome to find any customers or clients for this watch because he wants to bring some business to this particular friend so that's how i got to know about this friend because we actually use the same manufacturer for our different watch product so when i was making a trip in chengdu because i knew he lives and works in Chengdu. I paid him a visit. He showed me around his office. We had tea together and I saw that he had many things created by himself including this Bitcoin watch. He also has something like Bitcoin teacup. I was completely shocked. How come in this world there's somebody that's so passionate with Bitcoin, with crypto, so much into mining and also at the same time so much passionate about creating souvenirs surrounding this topic of Bitcoin. I know many of you guys like cryptos, like Bitcoin, you like decentralized currency, but how many of you guys would actually create something for Bitcoin? Maybe you will go to buy something like this crypto themed t-shirt. Will you actually go to make a product for Bitcoin, for crypto, for that something that you invest your money with machines to mine? I don't think many people will do that. It's easy to create a t-shirt, but it's definitely not easy to come up with these ideas like Bitcoin teacup, Bitcoin tea. <laughs> Bitcoin watch. So is he is just one of these many people here in China that loves cryptocurrency so much. He is just another person that loves Bitcoin as much as you do. And he actually takes more action to prove that. And he's also connected with many miner distributors. He even has uh, some direct tie with crypto miner manufacturers. So this is somebody that's really great, elaborate, sophisticated in terms of cryptocurrency and crypto mining. I'm like 1% of him when it comes to crypto and crypto mining. Okay, so that's about the watch. Okay, point number three, it's about gold shell. So when it comes to gold shell, I have to talk about two products. The first product is KD6. So I got this news from gold shell and also gold shell distributors. I'm told that the pre-orders for KD6 April, May, and June have been finished. 
and now they are taking new orders for May, June, and July. The pre-order for the previous month was all finished, so it's it's still a little bit shocking because I I personally think this is a, like a too risky machine, and I don't think many people will buy it. But the matter of the fact is, the pre-orders for these three months have been finished. But fortunately, with the pre-orders for May, June, and July, I mean, still two months were overlapped. But whoever that ordered early could definitely get their KD6 earlier. So that's about KD6. There's another miner from Gold Shell I think is worth mentioning. It's a KD Box Pro. This KD Box Pro is claimed to have increased the performance in terms of hash rate from 1.6 terahash to 2.6 terahash. So I did some math. It's something like 60% of increase, and the price actually is really good. I don't mean this is a, like a very cheap miner. But I was only comparing the current price with like one or two months before the Chinese New Year. The KD Box was still very expensive. I remember the price was around 7,000 US dollars to something like 7,500 US dollars. But this time, KD Box Pro pre-orders accepted. The price is much lower than that. I personally think this is a good price, but you may see this is as a bad price because Kadena is much down and uh, the whole future of crypto market and crypto money is full of doom and gloom, right? Uh, but I don't know, you will have better judgment than me. Okay, so that's about KD Box Pro. Point number three is about coin miner updates. I actually get a news that's a little bit disappointing because I was told the model of 98 terahash is almost finished or pretty much exactly already finished. Okay, so this is really bad news because it was a really, really good price that we got from this manufacturer manufacturer but this stock is no longer valid but luckily we still have the 92 terahash and also 83 terahash so whoever that got this 98 terahash and at a good price at the same time are really lucky although i think if you have enough money you'd better just buy a s19j pro 100 terahash or 96 terahash okay when we are talking about this coin miner there is another point i think i have to make is although i found this coin miner by myself from one of my sourcing trips i don't think any of of my videos including this video and all all my videos they are not financial advice as i said i'm one percent of this crypto friend that i had for the watches none of my videos need you to buy any of these miners it's only i'm sharing with you my experiences with what i saw i don't want to encourage anybody to buy any of these miners including kd6 coin miner whatever whenever you buy a miner from me or from anybody else it's you that makes this the decision everything else is secondary okay Maybe this is pretty much for today's updates uh, during this massive lockdown in the city. I hope that you find this video informative, helpful, or at least a little bit interesting to you guys. I look forward to see you in my next video. Thank you.